Good morning, it is Jane, and it is time for another Bible reading, and today we are doing, we're starting out in Deuteronomy 1 through 2, so let's open up with a prayer. Dear Heavenly Father, we give you praise, honor, and glory just for you being who you are and who you are in our lives. Lord, we pray that those that are in need of comfort, peace, and your love will find it. We know what a glorious thing it is to be in your kingdom. And we pray that everyone we meet has that glory. Lord, we pray that we can be that vessel that will put that little mustard seed into their life to where they will turn to you. We ask these things in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. All right, Deuteronomy. I don't know why I'm opening up the book. I need my eyeballs. Some books, large print, is a lot littler than others. All right. These are the words that Moses spoke to all Israel beyond the Jordan in the wilderness, in the Arab opposite Suf, between Paran and Tophel, Laban, Hazaroth, and Dizabat, Dizahab. It is eleven days' journey from Oreb by the way of Mount Seir to Gadesh Barnea. In the fortieth year, on the first day of the eleventh month, Moses spoke to the people of Israel, according to all that the Lord had given him in commandment to them. After he had defeated Sihon, the king of Amorites, who lived in Heshbon, and Og, the king of Bashan, who lived in Ashtaroth, in Edri. <clears throat> Beyond the Jordan in the land of Moab, Moses undertook to explain this law, saying, The Lord our God said to us in Oreb, You have stayed long enough on this mountain. Turn and take your journey and go to the hill country of the Amorites and to all their neighbors in the Arabah, in the hill country and in the lowland, in the Negev and by sea coast, the land of the Canaanites and Lebanon, as far as the great river the river Euphrates. See, I have set the land before you. Go in and take possession of the land that the Lord swore to your fathers, to Abraham, to Isaac, and to Jacob, to give to them and to their offspring after them. At that time I said to you, I am not able to bear you by myself. The Lord your God has multiplied you, and behold, you are today as numerous as the stars of heaven. Maybe May the Lord, the God of your fathers, make you a thousand times as many as you are, and bless you, as he has promised you. How can I bear by myself the weight and burden of you and your strife? Choose for your tribes wise, understanding, and experienced men. I will appoint them as your heads. And you answered me, The thing that you have spoken is good for us to do. So I took the heads of your tribes, wise and experienced men, and set them as heads over you, commanders of thousands, commanders of hundreds, commanders of fifties, commanders of tens, and officers throughout your tribe. And I charged your judges at that time. Hear the cases between your brothers and judge righteously between man and his brother, or the alien who is with them. You shall not be partial in judgment. You shall hear the small and the great alike. You shall not be intimidated by anyone, for the judgment is God's. And the case that is too hard for you, you shall bring to me, and I will hear it. And I commanded you at that time all the things that you should do. Then we set out from Horeb and went through all the great and terrifying wilderness that you saw. On the way to the hill country of the Amorites, as the Lord our God commanded us, and we came to Gadesh, Barnea, and I said to you, You have come to the hill country of the Amorites, which the Lord our God is giving us. See, the Lord your God has set the land before you. Go up, take possession, as the Lord, the God of your fathers, has told you. Do not fear or be dismayed. Then all of you came near me and said, Let us send men before us, that they may explore the land for us, 
and bring us word again of the way by which we must go up, and the cities into which we shall come. The things seemed good to me, and I took twelve men from you, one man from each tribe, and they turned and went up into the hill country, and came to the valley of Eshcol, and spied it out. And they took in their hands some of the fruit of the land, and brought it down to us, and brought us word again, and said, it is a good land that the Lord our God is giving us. Yet you would not go up, but rebelled against the command of the Lord your God. And you murmured in your tents and said, Because the Lord hated us, he has brought us out of the land of Egypt to give us into the hands of the Amorites to destroy us. Where are we going up? Our brothers have made our hearts melt, saying, The people are greater and taller than we. The cities are great and fortified up to heaven, and besides, we have seen the sons of the Anakim here. Then I said to you, Do not be in dread or afraid of them. The Lord your God who goes before you will himself fight for you, just as he did for you in Egypt before your eyes. And in the wilderness, where have you seen how the Lord your God carried you as a man carries his son? all the way that you went in until you came to this place. Yet in spite of this word, you did not believe the Lord your God, who went before you in the way to seek out a place to pitch your tents, in fire by night and in cloud by day, to show you by what way you should go. And the Lord heard your words and was angered, and he swore, not one of these men of this evil generation shall see the good land that I swore to give to your fathers, except Caleb the son of Jephunneh. He shall see it, and to him and to his children I will give the land on which he has trodden, because he has wholly followed the Lord. Even with me the Lord was angry on your account and said, You also shall not go in there. Joshua, the son of Nun, who stands before you, he shall enter. Encourage him, for he shall cause Israel to inherit it. And as for your little ones, who you said would become a prey, and your children, who today have no knowledge of good or evil, they shall go in there. And to them I will give it, and they shall possess it. But as for you, turn, and journey into the wilderness in the direction of the Red Sea. Then you answered me, We have sinned against the Lord. We ourselves will go up and fight, just as the Lord our God commanded us. And every one of you fastened on his weapons of war and thought it was easy to go into the hill country. And the Lord said to me, Say to them, Do not go up or fight, for I am not in your midst, lest you be defeated by your enemies. So I spoke to you, and you would not listen. But you rebelled against the command of the Lord and presumptuously went up in to the hill country. Then the Amorites who lived in the hill country came out against you and chased you as bees do and beat you down in Seir as far as Hormah. And you returned and wept before the Lord, but the Lord did not listen to your voices or give ear to you. So you remained at Kadesh many days, the days that you remained there. Then we turned and journeyed into wilderness in the direction of the Red Sea, as the Lord told me. And for many days we traveled around Mount Seir. Then the Lord said to me, You have been traveling around this mountain country long enough. Turn northward and command the people. You are about to pass through the territory of your brothers, the people of Esau who lived in Seir, and they will be afraid of you. So be very careful. Do not contend with them, for I will not give you any of their land. No, not, as mu not so much as for the sole of the foot to tread on, because I have given Mount Seir to Esau as a possession. You shall purchase food from them with money, that you may eat, and you shall also buy water from them with money, that you may drink. For the Lord your God has blessed you in all the work of your hands. He knows you're going through this great wilderness. These forty years the Lord your God has been with you. You have lacked nothing. So we went on, away from our brothers, the people of Esau, who lived in Seir,
away from the Yerubah road from Elath and Ezion Geber. And we turned and went in the direction of the wilderness of Moab, and the Lord said to me, Do not harass Moab or contend with them in battle, for I will not give you any of their land for a possession, because I have given Ar to the people of Lot for a possession. The Imam formerly lived there, a people great and many, and tall as the Anakim. Like the Anakim, they are also counted as Raphim, but the Moabs call them Emim. But Horites also live in Seir formerly, but the people of Esau dispossessed them and destroyed them from before and destroyed them from before them and settled in their place, as Israel did to the land of their possession, which the Lord gave to them. Now rise up and go over the brook Zered. So he went over the brook Zered, and the time from our leaving Kadesh Barnea until we crossed the brook Zered was thirty eight years, until the entire generation, that is, the men of war had perished from the camp as the Lord has sworn to them. For indeed the hand of the Lord was against them, to destroy them from the camp until they had perished. So as all the men of war had perished and were dead from among the people, the Lord said to me, Today you are to cross the border of Moab at Ar, and when you approach the territory of the people of Ammon, do not harass or contend with them. For I will not give you any of the land of the people of Ammon as a possession, because I have given it to the sons of Lot for a possession. It is also counted as the land of Raphim. Raphim formerly lived there, but the Ammonites call them Zamzumin, a people great and many, and as tall as the Anakim. But the Lord destroyed them before the Ammonites, and they dispossessed and settled in their place, as he did for the people of Esau, who live in Seir, when he destroyed the Horites before them, and they dispossessed them and settled in their place, even to this day. As for the Avim, who lived in villages as far as Gaza, the Kaphatorim, who came from Kaphtar, destroy them, destroyed them and settled in their place. Rise up, set out on your journey, and go over the valley of Arnon. Behold, I have given into your hand Sihon, the Amorite, the king of Heshbon, and his land. Begin to take possession and contend with him in battle. This day I will begin to put the dread and fear of you on the peoples who are under the whole heaven, who shall hear the report of you and shall tremble and be in anguish because of you. So I sent messengers from the wilderness of Kedemoth to Sihon the king of Heshbon with words of peace, saying, Let me pass through your land. I will go only by the road. I will turn aside neither to the right nor to the left. You shall sell me food for money that I may eat, and give me water for money that I may drink. Only let me pass through on foot, as the sons of Esau who lived in Seir, and the Moabites who lived in Ar did for me, until I go over the Jordan into the land that the Lord our God is giving us. But Sihon the king of Heshbon would not let us pass by him. For the Lord your God hardened his spirit and made his heart obstinate, that he might give him into your hand as he is this day. And the Lord said to me, Behold, I have begun to give Sihon and his land over to you. Begin to take position, possession that you may occupy his land. Then Sihon came out against us, he and all his people, to battle at Jah Jahaz. And the Lord our God gave him over to us, and we defeated him and his sons and all his people. And we captured all his cities at that time, and devoted to destruction every city, men, women, and children. We left no survivors, only the livestock we took as spoil for ourselves, with the plunder of the cities that we captured. From our, 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 our. that's a hard word to say which is on the edge of the valley of Arnon, from the city that is in the valley as far as Gilead. 
There was not a city too high for us. The Lord our God gave all into our hands. Only to the land of the sons of Ammon you did not draw near, that is, to all the banks of the river Jabbok and the cities of the hill country, whatever the Lord our God has forbidden us. And that is the reading for today. As always, go out there and be a blessing to others. Be kind to one another, love one another. And get out there and see this big, beautiful world we live in. I'll see you again soon. Bye.